a week, uh, usually Tuesdays and Friday. I had some problems on uh, just this last Tuesday, so a little late with getting it uh, to you guys, so it's going to be Wednesday and Friday, but anyways, uh, that's kind of how we're doing things now. Anyways, uh, on to the, uh, this week's episode. Uh, two issues here, we're going to be doing uh, something for prom and something for uh, the, one of the tags, uh, is a I Love Spring tag. These are the two tags I found, uh, well, one of the tags I found on the internet, uh, on YouTube, I should say. And uh, the other one, uh, I saw Style Hall and a whole bunch of other uh, people talking about prom. I guess prom is, is, is around the corner. Uh, I really know, I, I never really knew when prom was. Even when uh, I was uh, younger, and in, uh, I'm still in school because uh, my life revolves around school. Uh, I, I spend an infinite amount of time studying, so school is infinite for me now, it's continuing, but uh, back when I was in uh, formal school or a uh, uh, high school, uh, I never really knew what uh, formal was or, or, or prom was, because I really didn't have anyone to go with, so, and I was not the type of guy who was comfortable asking girls out to, to, to these dances. So, uh, I was watching uh, uh, Time with Megan. Uh, on YouTube, and she talked about her prom experiences that uh, she didn't have anyone to go with, so she went with a whole bunch of friends. And uh, the thing that excitement made is, is uh, if you want to put it into perspective, is that uh, nerds are not in the same category as beauty gurus. And Tyler Megan is uh, of that sort of stature where. Uh, I guess you would say she's out of our leagues, or, or, or out of the nerd or geek league, where you really, as a geek or a nerd, you really can't approach this type of girl. Uh, so I was, I was thinking that if uh, this may be an idea, that uh, if there are girls out there who don't have dates to the prom, and it's not okay to ask a, 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 a guy to a prom, uh, for girls to ask guys to a prom, that why not ask a, a, a geek to a prom? You know, if a geek doesn't have a date or something like that, and they probably don't have dates, uh, they're probably too scared to come up to you and say, hey, you want to go to prom? So if you could do that for a guy who's a geek, then that would be great, you know. Uh, I'm not saying, you know, doing anything else. I'm just saying, just ask him to the prom. Uh, if you find this person seems to be okay, you know, you kind of like the guy, or, or not even, you just want, want something to go with. Something to keep you company, so. Anyways, uh, that's about the prom thing. Now uh, let's get on to the uh, I Love Spring Tag. This is the one I got from uh, Meredith, Fo Mer Meredith Foster. She's uh, Stila Babe uh, 09. I'll leave the uh, link to her channel in the down below bar, uh, so you'll find that in the description. Uh, so here, because she said I tag all y'all, so. Uh, here goes the uh, the, the uh, tag. Uh, what's your favorite uh, fav favorite uh, spring nail polish? Well, I don't have any nail polish. I don't put nail polish on. If I did put nail polish on, it'd be a multicolored rainbow. But I was thinking of uh, maybe buying one of those false nail kits just to sort of uh, play with. But uh, I don't know in terms of doing art. But I don't know if I'd uh, actually go out and say. I'd have a favorite nail polish in terms of actually going out and, and spending the money on that. 
in terms of buying a nail polish, uh, I have a tendency to uh, find the, the equivalent to nail polish in industrial sizes and do it that way so it's cheaper and uh, won't spend as much money. So in terms of uh, <laughs> being on the beauty side of things, I do things on the, on the cheap on the cheap level. Uh, I'm not. Uh, I don't spend a lot of money on things. Uh, what's your what's, what's, uh, what is your must-have lip color for the spring? Well, no real lip color. Uh, again, I don't real, real lip wear lipstick. I don't even use uh, lip balm or moisturizer on my lips. So sometimes it's bad. I usually try to if I notice my lips are a little chapped or dry. Uh, in terms of uh, taking care of that, um, I will actually uh, realize that uh, the body's dehydrated. That's what Chapman's means. It means your body's dehydrated, and that you can uh, re re repair that damage with uh, increasing your hydration, increasing the amount of water you drink. So that's what I usually do. Uh, but in terms of lip color, there's no must have for spring. Uh, show us your favorite spring dress. Well, don't have one. Uh, that'd be an interesting thing, though. Imagine if, the, to sort of imagine, uh, if, because uh, I know in my culture, the Greek culture, and in the Scottish culture, and even the, and the culture in Fiji, uh, they still, they still all have, they have dresses for guys. So the question is, how would the dresses look if guys didn't have pants but wore dresses still? That would be an interesting, interesting idea. So, something to think about. Uh, what's your favorite flower? Uh, I do like flowers, uh, but I don't necessarily have a favorite one. That's the thing, is I, I, uh, I like going out in the field and looking at different flowers. I'm not too crazy about cut flowers, but I do like flowers in their place in, in, the, uh, in, in the fields and so on and so forth. Uh, I do like going out for hikes and you know spending an enormous amount of time outdoors. That's what I do. Usually in August, I go uh, near the end of July, uh, first week of August. I go out for three weeks. I go on um, expedition far, no far, no far enough north that uh, there's no Wi-Fi, there's no uh, internet connection, there's no radio or telephone. It's just <laughs> you in the woods and <laughs> in the field or whatever wherever you are. So that's where I, I get that from. Uh, favorite uh, spring scarf or accessories. Or accessory, well, I guess. I don't know. Uh, I have my Crocs. I like my Crocs. These are, they're, they're colored Crocs, but uh, those are cool. Uh, I wear those in the spring uh, until fall. But uh, otherwise, I don't really have a. Again, uh, favorites is, is for me is, is a relative thing because I, I don't necessarily have a favorite of anything. I kind of enjoy what I have all together equally. Uh, what spring trends are you most excited about this year? Uh, I don't, I'm not, I was never, in terms of trends, even if, if, even if I knew what the trends were, and I don't, and that's where the problem is, I was never a trend follower. Uh, I, I, and I, was, I could never keep up with trends, I, there was no way for me ever to conform or follow a particular trend. I always did what I felt I wanted for myself. And this is even kind of how I how I dress and how I'm eventually going to style myself uh, because I still want to I still want to style myself better. Uh, I saw on Zoe 101 there's the character Quinn, and, she, and, and as a younger as, as, a, as a younger version of Quinn, the, 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 she has two versions. There's the older version of Quinn in the, in the last few last few seasons of uh, Zoe 101, and then there's the earlier uh, the Quinn in the first season, which he's a 12, 13 in there. I like a more experiment, you know, I like to be more expressive the way, the way I dress. And, uh, it's sort of, I want to sort of create something for geeks that they can wear, uh, to be more expressive. Something along the lines of cosplay, something around there. Well, I think maybe mixing something up from there and doing something like that. But I haven't exactly decided what I want to do yet. Uh, favorite spring candle? Uh, I always, I always like lavender calendar, but a number of calendars, you know, candles, uh, I use them uh, not only for lighting, but the, I put them in the sock drawers, I put them in all my clothing drawers, uh, along with scented soaps, and uh, sometimes I mix and match things, I always mix and match things, uh, and you get a combination of scents in there. 
and it's always pretty good, so I don't really have a favorite uh, of that, but I do like uh, scented candles. Uh, let's see, favorite body spray or perfume uh, for spring? Uh, I don't know. I Again, no favorite. Uh, I don't really use body spray or perfume at all myself, or even cologne or whatever. Uh, I make sure I'm clean, and then beyond that, uh, I've kind of figured out how to change the scent of your uh, of your body, the scent of your body, by changing the amount of the number of spices and the types of spices that you have in your diet. Uh, in my culture, we are very uh, we ha our food culture is uh, very heavily spice oriented. So if you can change the spices up, then you can change the scent of your body, and you can actually neutralize. Uh, body odor like that, so that's the way I've chosen to do it. Um, what's your favorite? Uh, what's your favorite uh, uh, spring like where you live? <laughs> oh, that's kind of hard. I think it may something with a typo in here. Um, let's move on to the next one. Uh, what's your favorite thing about spring? Uh, my favorite thing about spring is two things. Is one, uh, this is when Greek Easter c comes about. Uh, and Greek Easter has lamb, it's, it's lots of food again. Uh, it's like Christmas, uh, but in spring. And uh, there's also, for me, in addition to uh, Easter, we call it Pascha or Passover. Uh, in addition to that, I like the change in the weather. I like all the seasons. But I particularly like when the seasons change, because it, 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 it takes you away from what you had before and then to something new. It, 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 for me, it changes up on a, it, it, it right amount of time, so that uh, I've had enough of spring, or I've had enough of winter, and now we're sort of ready for spring. And I get out, I walk more, there's more things to see. Um, when the uh, trees start to bud and bloom, uh, they present a whole bunch of new smells and fragrances. Well, it's a pretty cool thing like that. It even, even when it rains in the spring, it's different than what it does when it rains in the summer. The, the, the difference in the smell, in the aroma. So, uh, are you a spring cleaner? Yes, I'm kind of a spring cleaner. It has to do primarily with the fact that I'm a freegan, and that I get a lot of my stuff from dumpsters. And uh, around springtime, that's when all oh, people start to spring clean and they throw out a lot of good stuff. And so you can go around to dumpster to dumpster to dumpster and start picking up some really good stuff. So if your place isn't clean, if your back room is all, like my back warehouse, if my back warehouse is all cluttered, I can't bring in new stuff. So I just make sure that I do the cleaning properly, uh, get rid of stuff I haven't been using at all or don't think I can use uh, or is really broken, can't be repaired, so I can make room for new stuff to come in. So that's the way I do things for spring cleaning. Uh, spring bake or vacation coming up. I, I like my job. I really do my, like what I do. So there is no, for me, no spring break or vacation. Uh, it's work, study, and work and study the one th same thing. 24-7 uh, basically. I do, this is what I do all day long, every day of the week. Uh, I do my studying. Anyways, who I tag, I don't have anyone to tag particularly because, uh, again, once again, I'm a geek on the internet and uh, the number of people I talk to on a regular basis. I have friends out there, but I'm not really too sure where we are in our friendship. Uh, <laughs> so, I have that geek thing going. So, who do I tag? I tag anyone uh, who's watching this video, and you, if, if you haven't already done it, because I see a lot of people doing this green tag already. So, anyways, uh, that's it for this uh, episode of, uh, uh, of Beauty and the Geek. I will see you, uh, hopefully, for Friday's episode. All right, take it easy. Bye-bye. Professor. And professor of what? Professor of physics. Ooh.
Democratic Earth. Earth.